Hi you guys, long time no see. So it has been quite a while. I know I thought I would be recording much more, but um, life just happens to get in the way. Um, we went out of town recently, so just for a long weekend, it was nothing big. And uh, so I'm back from out of town. Work has been very tedious. I work longer hours and even on the weekends my work kind of consumes me so I try to give my family more time um, but I have some free time now my daughter's with her grandmother and uh, I'm here able to record so I didn't do the boxy charm and glossy box last month actually I did do it but I didn't put it up because I had this massive cold sore on my lips somewhere on my lip and um, I recorded it and when I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't care. When I saw it on the on, on camera, I was like, holy crap, that's disgusting. I can't put that up. So I did it in uh, whatever, it's deleted. But it's just, I, I was having a very, very stressful time. So, and I'm still very stressed at work and all that stuff. But anyway, let's just not talk about that because that's stressful. Um, yes, boxy charm and glossy box. So I have them both here. I've opened them both. I've used a few things out of both of them. Um, and so let's just get into it. So let's just go with BoxyCharm because this one is just calling my name. Um, they're both 21, tw I think I got it wrong. Last time I said glossy box, that these are like $21 boxes, but it depends. If you buy like the whole year, it's cheaper. If you buy per month, it's a different rate. and. So it just depends. I think um, Glossy Box is 23 if you buy month to month. Anyway, I ended up getting mine for like 18 bucks because they had some kind of a deal. Anyway, going back to BoxyCharm. You can see I've already demolished it. This month is Spellbound. So there's five items in the box. And the first item we got is a highlighter from Becca Cosmetics. And um, this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. And it's very nice. I haven't had any highlighters from Becca. I don't know why this is so dark. Give me a second. Is that brighter? I think it's a little bit brighter. My son uses my camera to film all kinds of stuff that he does for little movie projects and stuff like that. So he changes the settings all the time, all the time. I thought I changed them all back, but I think I think this is better. All right, back to the Becca um, highlighter. So that's the highlighter right there. Um, it's gold. It's very, like, very pop, pop in your face. I wish it wouldn't have been such a gold highlighter because I prefer my little scrunchie. I prefer, like, a little champagne highlight when I put it on. I actually have a little brush here. Let me see. I try not to use too much highlighter right now because and if I do I'm trying to find some nice cream highlights because as you age the more shimmer it seems it brings out more of your your fine lines and it just makes it stand out a little bit more so um, I think this will be really really nice on the lid but um, yeah it's okay so the packaging is just quite beautiful and this retails for $38. So that's amazing. That's more than the cost of the box. I don't know how BoxyCharm does it, but they do it. Next in here is from Dr. Brand. This is the Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. Um, this is freaking awesome. I've had multiple little samples from like probably Birchbox and I really like it. I've actually chosen Birchboxes. I think if this had, if it was in the box, so I really really like this. It's very like granular. It's just like it does it's like the best exfoliation. They also have another one. It's in a black tube and I forget what that one is called. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of actually. I don't know. Now now I'm confused cuz I haven't used this one out of this box, but I have used this. Let me see if I'm confused. If I'm getting this one confused with the other one. Let me see. Oh no, this is a different one. This one smells, the other one is more like minty scented and this one is more, 
it has like a, I don't know what to, how to call that, but it's, it's very fine granules. It's not as intense as the other one. This one is like, um, like, uh, I don't know, super soft, soft sand, but the, like, it just feels like grit in your fingers, very light, not itchy or, or harsh or anything. The other one in the black container is like supersonic, like super, super exfoliating. It's raining. It's raining a lot. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? If I'm quiet, can you hear the rain? All right, anyway, the ducks are loving it. Uh, next in here was from Tarte. This is the Tartiest Lip Paint. And this one is in the shade Delish. Um, I re did a recent um, shopping trip at Sephora and Ulta and I got um, that little holiday book thing. I'm going to do a video on it and um, and in that next video I'm going to put like the things I've recently hauled and what I think about them because I've used everything instead of just like a haul and I can't wait to use it. I've actually used everything so anyway this is the color. It's really nice. It's pretty. It's a, it's a little bit darker than what I want to wear right now. I'm trying to go for a little bit lighter shades. So there we go. Very pretty. And these things, they dry on the lip like super, super dry. And um, it's still comfortable. It doesn't crack your lips, but it is very dry. It is coming down. Can you hear the rain? It's dark, it's gloomy. And I don't have no light anywhere, so I'm trying to use the sunlight, but the sun is like hidden behind the clouds. So if it's dark, it is what it is. I can't do nothing about it. Nature is nature. Um, next is a lip liner from Jante Blue. I don't know. It's in 943 Brown Sugar. It looks like this. I need a new lip liner. Ooh, that thing is dark. How could that be a lip liner? That is super, super dark, super dark. And then the last thing in here is from, I guess, Nailed It, NCLA, Los Angeles. It's a little nail kit, which is really nice, actually. I'm glad they put this in here. I was going to put it in my purse, and I was like, let me not put it in my purse just yet, because it's so nice, it's so small, and so compact, and it's got nail clippers, a file, a little thing to clean your nails. I don't know what this long skinny thing is. And then a pair of scissors, I guess, for your brows and what have you. I don't, I don't know how to groom my brows. I just kind of use one of those buzz buzz things and I like buzz buzz here and I buzz buzz under here and I buzz on the top and then that's it because I don't know how to do it any other way. Oh, and then I pluck. So, but this is cool. Hey, there's no tweezers in here now that I'm thinking about it. So I guess this is not for your brows. I guess it's to trim how do you use that I don't know let me know so that is boxy charm um, the highlighter again is $38 we have the dermabrasion which is $58 whoa um, this little nail kit is 18 really $18 for this little nail kit okay whatever and then the Tardius lip paint is $20. So it totals about $130 plus dollars for the whole thing. That's crazy. That's really good. But a very nice box. All right, let's move on to Glossy Box. I just got Glossy Box in the mail yesterday. Uh, the Boxy Charm, I got it like a week, a week and a half ago or something like that. Um, so I did open it. I don't think I used anything in here since I got it yesterday. I don't think so, but let's see. Um, they have this little card in here. It says Mockberg, Mockberg gift card for watches on Mockberg.com. Oh, it's a $50 gift card. Um, I don't think that I'll use it, but in case, $50, it's Glossy Box 1567 USA for 50 bucks off. And then it says Elements of Fall. I'm going to open it and refer to it as needed. Oh, yes, I did use a couple of things on here. Yes, I did. All right, so here we go. 
they always pack it up really, really nice. Um, I haven't used this one, obviously, because I haven't taken it out of the box and brought it to the shower. But this is the Rituals Happy Buddha Sweet Orange and Cedar Foaming Shower Gel. That's pretty cool. I think I've used a couple foaming shower gels. I wasn't impressed by them, but we'll see how this goes. It's very um, earthy and spa-like smelling. I actually love Rituals. Um, Glossy Box had a like a limited edition, no, not edition, edition box from Rituals. It was amazing. It was. I love Rituals. Okay. Then we have a brush from Vasanti. They tend to put a lot of Vasanti brushes in here. I have a blush brush. I have. I have a couple of Asante brushes and I really, really like them. They're really soft. This one is very soft too. This is an eyeshadow brush. So it's like a flat C-shaped brush. Um, nice. Um, let's see. This lip color from Clove and Hallow. This is so pretty. It is so creamy. Um, it's in the color Angelic. Let's see what it says. It's $15 for a full size, which I don't think this is a full size, but this has a ton of product in here. Um, it's a lip glaze. It says, the ultra watt shine of a gloss combined with a serious hydration, an all vegan ingredient mix that literally, that's literally good enough to eat. Jojoba oil, shea butter, mineral t uh, based tints will leave your lips begging for more. Colors will vary. Mm -mm -mm. So they had two colors. One was a red, and then there's this one here, an angelic. And I'm so glad they gave me this one because I'm just, I don't like reds. I really, ooh, this is a little bit, oh, you see what happened here? The little top came off right there on it with the whole lipstick thingy. See right up in there, that little plastic thing? I hope I can get it to, Oh, it's cracked. That's why. That is such a shame that this is broken. Oh, I really love this one. I'm gonna, I normally don't contact these companies when things come to me broken, but I really like this and I want to keep this in my purse and I can't because I think it'll just leak out all over the place. And that would not be good to ruin my purse for that. But it is a very comfortable lip color. Look at this. This is the Tarte um, that lip paint, it's really hard to get off, but with some work, urgh. all right, well, it is what it is. So the full size is $15 for that one. Sorry, got things falling down. Okay, what else do we have? We have, I don't know how to say this, Lu, Lue, Lue by John Sale, Sayo. I don't know how to say any of it. It's Erase cleansing, exfoliating, and brightening powder. This is very unique. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to use it just yet, um, but it's it looks like you should be cooking with it. It's like this all this powder in here. Mix a tablespoon of erase with half a tablespoon of water to form a paste. Apply to face and let dry for one minute. While still damp, gently massage away paste should come off the eraser like eraser peels taking blackheads out softening hyperpigmentation and reducing large pores add a drop of water to continue erasing if paste dries use twice a week very cool very interesting um I, that hyperpigmentation thing like intrigues me because if you've been following me you know i have hyperpigmentation and it's been a big issue for me for forever Okay, and lastly is, let's see, from Jaf Jafra, Jafra, is that how you say it? Um, this is from Girl Squad. Um, actually, I think the scent is Girl Squad from Jafra, and I smelled this. It is awesome. I actually just went to Ulta, and I just purchased a new perfume from Tor Tory Burch. What's it called? Um, where is it? Oh, it's right here. What is it? It's Love Relentlessly. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, anyway, let's go to this one. This one, I have that other one. I want to spray it on me and have two different scents. What am I going to do? I am going to spray it in this box. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's very um, girly, 
flirty, girly, uh, feminine. It's kind of fruity. Um, I really like this scent, and I think I'm going to leave this one in my bag because I really, really like this. I rarely forget to put perfume on. I have, like, you can't see it here, but I have a whole slew of perfumes. Maybe I'll, like, put a little pan up there and see all the perfumes that I have up there. Um, I love having perfumes, and I rarely, rarely, almost never leave the house without putting perfume on. But... Anyway, so that sums that up with Glossy Box. They have this perfume. This one is a 7 ml or 0.23 fluid ounces. Um, so the full size is $33. This is like, um, and that's for a 1.7 fluid ounce. And then the brush from Vasanti is $21 for this little dinky brush. I would never pay $21 for this brush ever, ever. Not for a little eyeshadow brush. Maybe possibly for a huge, big, fluffy brush, but not for something like this. No. Um, this powder is $15 for two ounces, which this is a full size. The lip glaze, again, $15. And then this is $15 for a 6.7 fluid ounce. Is this? And this is a full size. So we have two full size items in the glossy box. I like both the boxes, actually. I really like both the boxes. I think they... They did a great job in both of them. So um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and stick around and to all the new subscribers, hello. And I'm gonna be doing another, let me see, Birchbox, Ipsy, and Sephora unboxing coming up next. So um, be on the lookout for that. That should be coming up in the next couple of days. And then I'll be doing a, you know, like I said, recently hauled products what i think of them because i've been i've used all of them so i'll be doing reviews on everything so it's going to be like this massive review video of things that i've tried and uh loved and not loved and and so we'll see what happens with that again i'll see you again very very soon in another video